According to Denver's crime data, there have been 72 murders so far in the Mile High City, and it means we're not far behind from where we were this time last year with 77. Well, going deeper when it comes to crime tonight, Denver 7 CB Cotton breaks down how DPD's new chief, Thomas, hopes to rebuild trust and tackle the threat of violence. I certainly never imagined one day being chief of police. He's been Denver's top cop for less than a month. Congratulations. Thank you. But he's already taking questions from the community. How many more shootings do we have to have? Last week, he took them for over two hours, but he says his countless responses come down to a single thing. I want the department that, that people want to see. It. Over the summer, people said they wanted accountability after three Denver police officers injured six innocent bystanders with their weapons as they tried to apprehend a suspect. It's our job to protect the community from harm, not to harm the community, so that's a very troubling situation. What it uh, highlights for me is the need to have training uh, to, to make sure that officers are able to um, to distinguish when is, is appropriate time to shoot and when it's not. Thomas says he plans to use the overtime allocated for officers in the mayor's budget to get that training. We have a very robust uh, training program that involves um, not just live shooting, but also uh, a virtual training. City data also shows homicides, robberies, and aggravated assaults have increased. Meanwhile, DPD is short nearly 200 officers. Thomas says he plans to shift duties to free up the officers he does have for violent crime response. I also want to be much more intentional about identifying those things in which we don't necessarily need a police officer to respond to. He says if more mental health clinicians are deployed to low-level calls and more reports are taken by phone for low-level crimes, officers can focus on responding to high crime areas. Being very intentional about using overtime to, to make sure that there are additional officers in those high call volume times so that we have uh, enough staff to address the, the workload. In Denver, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.